this is without a doubt the finest white fish freshwater white fish on the planet this is Lake Erie perch this comes from Hillmax fish market in Ashtabula it is they pre-bred it for you they'll cook it for you if you want but I like to cook it myself and that's what we're gonna do but this is Lake Erie perch this is world famous this is the best tasting perch in the world and this is how we're gonna cook it fresh oil I'm gonna check the temperature we need it about 350 375 I like 375 we're at two it's climbing we're about 220 right now so it's got a little ways to go it's coming down I'll go back up Ooh, we don't want to touch the pot yeah. okay so we got a little ways to go yet what what are you barking at? Okay. That's right at uh, 275 or 300, climbing up to 350. Toto's got Linda's glove. Bring that back. <laughs> Toto. Toto. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> yeah, a fool with a stick. Don't break it, just throw it. <laughs> Give her the glove. Don't no, no, drop it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you give up. Give me that glove. Okay see what we got 260 312 329 342 354 366 375 got there quick okay so here we go Lake Erie pit perch the best fish in the world all four pieces in because they'll cook just fine. You wait for small bubbles. And wait till it's golden brown. Then I've got the rack here the spider to get it out and the rack to lay it on. You don't want to lay it on a paper towel because it then, it, you know, it holds the grease. Actually, the spider's for the french fries, which I will go get. Yeah, look at that. That's cooking up good. I cleaned up the grill real good, emptied the pot of oil, put fresh oil in it. First I, I cleaned it out real good, then I oiled it, 
then I baked it at about 600, 550 degrees until it smoked real good to season it to make sure that it was all seasoned and clean. Okay, we're getting there. It doesn't take long to cook. They overcook it at the store every time they overcook it. It's cooking away. And I just dripped hot oil on my bare foot. When it floats, we're getting there. You are witnessing the preparation of the finest freshwater perch on the planet, Lake Erie perch. This is the best. Don't want to overcook it. Hey, Toto. You give Mama's glove back? I'm just going to give this another second. I'm going to call it done. Like I said, they always overcook it at the store. I guess that's better than undercooked. Okay. This is $24 a pound. I bought four pieces. It was slightly more than a half a pound. And there's no sense buying more than you're going to eat because it's just a waste. All right, I'm going to call that done. I'm going to call that done. The oil drip off. Put it on the rack. Man, it's hot. That's hot. After cooking this, though, you've got to strain the oil. Okay, there it is. That looks pretty good to me. Let the oil drip off, put it in the boat. I'm going to take this in and bring out the french fries. By the way, there's our corn up there. I found the best way is to take a big russet potato and cut them up and then freeze them before you cook them. That way they come out crispy. You have to dry them off real good and then freeze them. These are really going to bubble up. Maybe my oil isn't hot enough now. Let me check it. One eighty two twenty two forty five. Came down a little. That's yeah, getting up there. I'm going to close the lid for a minute. Okay, now we're getting there. Drop 
speeds in. Since they're frozen, they cool the oil down a little bit, but it'll heat back up. They're starting to get golden quick. I'm just gonna close the lid and let the heat build up. Okay. Yeah, those are bubbling good now. Okay, I'm gonna call these done. Get them over on the rack. You'll want to set them on a paper towel, like I said, because they just get soggy. Okay, they're on the rack. Turn gas off. They're falling through the rack. Okay. Okay, now I've transferred them to a plate from the rack. And we'll go eat. Okay, we got french fries, the perch, Hill Mac seafood salad, the corn, a homemade tartar sauce, because I don't like theirs. We use mayonnaise, Thousand Island, and some wheat, sweet pickle relish. And here we go. Boner Petite. I uh, can't even eat those last two French fries. Toto eat them. The beauty of this is that's that's the cleanup. There's my cleanup right there, a rack and a tray. This I'll let cool, and then tomorrow I'll strain the oil and clean the pot again, and then we're ready to go again. You don't even have to do that, but I do. I like to get you know five, six uses out of out of the oil so there you go uh great way to deep fry fish french fries fried food fried chicken is great i think i'll do fried chicken next so alrighty. righty